free for all tips. The first number one tip. As soon as the game starts, you need to select the first class just like this. Blam. After that, you can select whatever class you want. This is going to give you the first spawn, which is always the same. Except for Genesis, they changed it last week. I don't know why. But you need to learn the spawns in this game to know what paths to take. You need to learn where everybody gets the most kills so that if you fall behind, you know where to go. You need to learn where people like to spawn trap. So if you see somebody going on a streak, you know where to run and kill them. Another thing is you need to use Merc and Fusion. Nobody likes the bitch vest, but Fusion is a must. It will heal you in half the time. Every time I don't use Fusion, I'll go kill two people, I'll run around a corner, three seconds later, a person will hit me with one bullet, I'm dead. If you're playing on a TV, you're playing FPS wrong. You need a monitor for this game, or any FPS. It saves you a millisecond of time, but that's an extra bullet. You want a 5ms or below monitor anywhere from between 20 to 32 inches i'd say 24 i play on a 27 inch 1ms another thing is a headset headsets are a must in call of duty sound whoring is how i get half my kills hearing somebody reload run near you shoot jump stuff like that's a huge deal in this game this is why I always use Dead Silence as my perk 3. Not only does it cancel out your own footsteps so you can hear better and sound whore better, but it prevents people with headsets from sound whoring you. It can be countered though. One of the biggest things you can do in this game to help you with lag is to make sure you're not playing off a of Wi-Fi. You need an Ethernet cable plugged directly in your Xbox to your router. You also need to make sure your NAT type is open. If it is not open, you need to go on to Google and figure out how to get it open. They'll tell you exactly what ports you need to set up and how to do it. I do a couple extra things that might help with lag. I don't know for sure or not, but I turn off game DVR, streaming, and I turn off my connect before I game. Also, another thing that helps is in the options, IW options, you need to go turn off film grain and motion blur. That helps with the lag a little bit also. For sensitivity, I used to play very high. But now that you got people jetpacking and wall running and stuff, you need to play on lower. That way you get more aim assist from the game. 5 and 4 is what I play. I wouldn't go lower than that because you need to turn on people and look up in the air and stuff like that. Some other things I would suggest getting is a controller with trigger stops. You don't need to get a scuff. They sell trigger stops for regular controllers. And also control freaks. They really help out my KD. They're hard getting used to, but once you get used to them, you can't play without them. Another thing I do grinding number one every year is I'll go play a bunch of games, learn the basics of the game, the maps, the guns, and then as soon as I do that, I'll go onto YouTube, start finding free-for-all videos, I'll go to live streams, start watching those. You'll learn a ton of stuff that you didn't recognize the first time playing. By far the best way to get information on what gun is OP, what is and is not working in the game, and it also saved me an AW when I was grinding number one against Kim.com Mega Racer. He ended up hiring a all-star team of Hutch, Optic Diesel, Eminence, and a couple other people to fly out to his $54 million mansion to play on one account against me in free-for-all. Luckily, I was watching the stream, and they hit the first prestige and prestige, and their leaderboards got frozen. So that taught me right there that I wasn't going to prestige until the game fixed that. They definitely would have took number one for me, that's for sure. Five people playing on one account, 24-7. Luckily for me, they didn't watch other people's streams and learn that uh, leaderboards are frozen once you prestiged. That's pretty much all the tips I can remember right now. Sorry for the crappy video. I don't know how to add stuff to videos or edit or anything like that yet. Gameplay is of one of the hundreds of failed de-itemizer strikes. I guess I'll just use the failed de-itemizer strikes for videos like this.